Hello, welcome to this video mini lesson introduction to Collaborate, which is our synchronous online learning platform. When you log into Blackboard in the left hand navigation panel, you should see a link to Collaborate. If you click on it, it'll take you to a screen that looks a little bit different than mine. And the reason for that difference is because I have instructor privileges and you don't but you'll have a little calendar that you can go to and you want to um, go to the date that you need to enter the collaborate session and when you are able to enter that collaborate session you will see it listed as you can see a session listed here and if it's time that you can enter that session, you can go ahead and click on it and it will launch Collaborate. Now, if you're a Mac user like me, what's it, what it's going to do is plop a little icon into your downloads folder here. You will have to click on your downloads folder and then um, double click on the little icon to bring it up. And let me show you, the icon will look like this. It, it looks like a little, I don't know, cup of coffee with some steam rising or whatever. And that is if you are a Mac user. If you're a PC user, your experience getting into Collaborate will be a little bit different. Also, what's nice is all of our synchronous sessions will be recorded. And you can always go back and listen to those and watch them again by clicking on this recordings link and then going to the appropriate date and time and clicking on the link for the recorded session. So let's go ahead and get into Collaborate and see what it looks like. Hello, uh, don't adjust your screen. It's actually me uh, with a very smoking hot headset here and I am not an air traffic controller nor do I work at a call center in India. This is actually the headset that I use when I work synchronously online. It's a Logitech headset and this is the one suggested in your ELC tech guidelines. And I'm wearing it because it makes uh, the listening and speaking experience far better for everyone in the class when we are all wearing these headsets. This helps to get rid of any sort of echoing or strange audio uh, metallic sound that you'll often get in online synchronous learning environments. So if you have not already procured a headset, please do so immediately and you will use it throughout the course for all of our synchronous sessions. Also on the ELC tech guidelines, there is a request that you have a webcam. Now, if you are a Mac user like me, your webcam is built into your laptop. However, if you are not a Mac user, you will have to get some type of webcam. And the purpose of that is so that we can see each other when we're interacting. When we're doing our small group sessions, then uh, we'll all be able to see each other all at the same time. When we are in our whole group sessions through Collaborate, only six of us will be able to see, will be able to see only six of us at any given time because that is the max for simultaneous video use because of uh, bandwidth issues. So let's go ahead and go through some of the features of Blackboard Collaborate. So you are now seeing what the screen will look like for you as a student in the course. And here I am right here. I'm, I'm Bob the Builder right now. And uh, I have access, and so will you, to a number of tools in Collaborate. And so I want to show you how to use them. First of all, if I want to get video of myself, I click here. And that previews what I'll look like in the video and then to actually make my video live so that everyone can see it I click that and this little red icon here indicates that yes indeed my video is live whoever is speaking during a collaborate session will be the one who is visible up here I'm going to turn that off now if I want to talk during a collaborate session I cl click my talk button and this little blue uh, microphone icon indicates that I that I am actually speaking. I'm turning it off so that I don't get an echo. Also, there will be several time there will be several times during our classes when I will ask you a question and you'll respond to it. And this is where you do it here. Sometimes these questions will be yes/no questions, like you see here. Other times they'll be 
um, multiple choice questions or for, or whatever but this is the polling feature of Blackboard and it can be formatted in different ways so when I ask you to respond to a question or a poll within Blackboard that's how you would do it to raise your hand you click here and this will indicate that you would like to speak although you're also free to just jump in don't feel like you have to raise your hand also if for some reason you have to step away from the session say to use restroom facilities click this icon here which is the away icon which lets the rest of us know that you're away so we shouldn't talk to you or ask you questions or whatever because I've had that happen before I've asked a student a question and there's just dead space and who knows what happened to the person and then also you have a few little emoticons in in messages here like for example if I'm speaking too quickly, which is a common problem with me, you can just tell me to go slower. Or if you are confused about something, you can indicate that through the use of these little emoticons. So I'm going to turn that back off there. And then also you have access to this whiteboard area here. And there may be some times when uh, you're going to write something on here. I don't know, make some kind of cool shape or um, put a picture on here. Well, this will take a, a screen capture of the page. I just took a picture of that. Okay. Come back to me. Okay. <laughs> or you could load a picture onto the screen by clicking this icon, etc., etc. But the point is, you can write to uh, this, this whiteboard here. Let me show you what this looks like because this text feature is a little challenging to use and collaborate. See it starts kind of small you have to make it big so it, you know it has kind of like word processing capability but it's just a, it's a little bit more challenging to use than um, what we're probably used to. So that'll give you an idea of some of the features. Also, you can uh, make chat comments here. And again, you can add little cool emoticons to it as well. And so during our sessions, we'll be talking and seeing each other and interacting. But also, um, you can be having a conversation within the chat box as well. I think that that's your basic introduction to Collaborate, but I wanted to make you aware of a couple of things, a couple of common problems that we run into. First of all is uh, some people will try to access Collaborate from their work site, but will find that it is blocked by a firewall. So please try that out beforehand. I have made Tuesday's class open at 430 so you if you want to jump on and just try it make sure that you can access everything and that it's working for you please feel free to do so also another problem we've had is sometimes people will, for example try collaborate from home on an old computer and they have issues with it because it's not able to fully run the software smoothly so be aware of that also another challenge we have is this is especially true when people are accessing collaborate at home and that is they have some functionality issues due to the fact that they are competing for bandwidth with other users and devices in their household so during our collaborate time you might have to tell the rest of the people in your family to just lay off lay off the internet Internet access and then also sometimes people will indicate that they have an incorrect um, internet connection so what I mean by that is when collaborate first opens up it's going to ask you what kind of connection speed you have whether it's wireless or Ethernet or, or whatever and if you indicate the wrong one you will sometimes have connectivity issues and what I mean by that is Blackboard will freeze up or it'll kick you off and you'll have to re-enter it which is so frustrating so try to make sure that you match your internet connection speed to to really what you're telling it so if you mess that up somehow or if you're having connectivity issues here's what you can do go to Blackboard Collaborate go to preferences scroll down to connection now I'm on a wireless but if I'm having problems with this and like I said it's freezing up or kicking me off what I want to do is just kick it down to the next slowest type of internet 
connection. And these are listed from fastest to slowest. So always move in the direction of choosing one slower and then see if that addresses your connectivity issues. Hopefully it will. The other thing that I really want you to do is go to, when you first log into Collaborate, go to Tools, Audio, Audio Setup Wizard. And this will walk you through choosing which device you're using for your audio and then testing it to make sure it's working okay. So that's going to be a very important thing to do. So I think that's pretty much an overview intro to Collaborate and I look forward to our next session. Thank you very much.